A 66 years old pregnant woman is something you don't see every day, but doctors have no doubt about it. When the woman, Karen Conley, eventually gives birth to the child, there is something off about it. And when the doctors run a few tests on the mother and child, they quickly make a shocking discovery. If only they had known about this before. When Karen finally managed to give birth to her baby, she and her husband felt like all their struggles were now behind them. They were maybe old, but they were new parents to this beautiful little boy. It was a miracle of life that no one saw coming. Yet, as with all stories, there was a twist. There was something they did not know yet. When doctors confirmed that the 66-year-old woman was pregnant, they were shocked. They kept asking themselves how it was possible for an older woman like Karen could be carrying a baby in her womb. Not only was the doctor shocked, but even Karen herself was also surprised at the news. She never saw this coming herself. Karen was at the hospital to complain about how she had been feeling tired and nauseous for a while. Her thought was that maybe she had been infected with a virus or something. But she got the greatest shock when the doctors confirmed that she was carrying a child at her age no less. This was one of the weirdest things to happen to her. The result of the test revealed that she was four months pregnant. The medical staff at the hospital decided to run more checks on Karen to ascertain her health and the growing fetus. After an extensive checking, they realized that both the mother and baby were doing fine. Erin and her husband George had been married for almost 40 years. They had three beautiful children who were married and left the house to settle with their own families. It is safe to call Karen a grandma, as she already has three grandchildren. Karen and George lived together as a family in one house until they were old enough to retire. Then decided to move out of the city where they lived and buy a new house in a quiet neighborhood near the beach. George explained his reaction because he had somehow had the intuition that something beautiful and surprising at the same time was coming into their lives. It appeared that George was entirely in favor of becoming a parent again. When Karen spoke to her children about the surprising pregnancy, they were a bit shocked and hesitant to agree with their father, George's opinion. After the decision was made, Karen made up her mind to go through whatever the pregnancy was going to cause her. As months went after months, the due date was gradually getting closer. The pregnancy was much tougher on Karen's body than her other children. She began to feel so sick that George had no other option than to take her to the hospital. He thought it would be best if she were under the supervision of medical personnel, and so they got a room where they would be accessible to the doctors 24-7. On getting to the hospital, the poor woman was quickly checked by a doctor, considering the critical condition she was in. The doctor realized that the baby needed to be delivered immediately. A few minutes into the delivery process, Karen gave birth the natural way. It wasn't easy for her to do, but the doctors tried to keep her stable throughout the process. Fortunately, she and the baby made it through. The doctors were all happy about the situation. Little did they know that their troubles weren't over yet. Karen and the baby had to stay at the hospital for about one more week to recover. George was always there too, but despite being there, he seemed to have a very dead-set focus for a particular course. His presence at the hospital after the delivery appeared to have no impact, especially on the mother. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about George and Karen is the fact that they suffered from a lack of communication. George barely gave any attention to Karen the week she was left to recover at the hospital after delivering the baby. But Karen didn't take it against him. She was just happy to have help raising the child. Karen grew weary of the hospital very quickly, and after she had been there for a week, she was finally discharged to go home. Karen attempted to talk to George, but he didn't seem interested. She brought up ideas on how they might raise the baby boy and how he felt about being a parent again. She tried to get any interest from him at all, but he won't talk much. Karen was getting annoyed and scared. What was wrong with George? Karen decided to not dwell on George's strange actions for now. The family fell in love with the baby immediately, and Karen was so happy. However, George didn't seem to care. He didn't care about the baby, Karen, or the rest of the family. He acted like a stranger to all of them. This behavior was getting worse the more time went on. Karen wanted to discuss it with George, but she wasn't sure she could. He'd been nice in the past months, but now he just seemed cold. What had happened to him? 
At the same time that Karen was at home worried about George the hospital, was getting worried about something else entirely. They had sent Karen home that morning. She was in good health, and they didn't have any doubts about her or the baby. But now that they were looking at the test results, they knew they had to bring them back in. What could have possibly gone wrong that badly? The doctors were more than shocked when they got the results of the tests back. To be absolutely sure that the results were correct, they ran the tests two more times. After doing the tests three times, they knew that they needed to get Karen and her family back to the hospital. They needed to come back as soon as possible and decided to call Karen and George. This was something that they needed to hear about in person. The couple was scared about what would happen. What could the shocking news be? The drive back to the hospital was much different from the drive home the day before. Karen was stressed, but George was calm, and he was trying to keep Karen calm too. When they got to the doctor's office, she was so nervous that she couldn't hold the baby. The doctor looks more than uncomfortable. He's nervous and clearly doesn't want to deliver the news. The doctor started by talking about the tests, but he wasn't getting to the point. He kept dancing around the real issue, but the couple learned that the tests in question had been related to the baby's DNA. Something about the baby's identity just wasn't adding up. And there was going to be a lot to talk about regarding the baby's DNA. Karen and Jeroge both braced for the news and were truly terrified about what was to transpire. While the doctor was trying to explain the tests they had run, he also assured Karen that she and the baby were both healthy and that she didn't need to worry about that. The problem was actually with George. George nodded and seemed to know exactly what the doctor was talking about. They held a look with each other, which kind of disturbed Karen. What were they telling her? Karen was at her wit's end. She had tried everything she could to prove that George had not fathered their son but all the DNA tests proved that he was the father. Karen couldn't believe it. She knew that something was wrong, but she couldn't put her finger on what it was. But now she was about to know what was up. The DNA test had proven repeatedly that George was certainly not the father of the baby. His DNA did not match that of the baby who was his supposed son. Karen was defeated. She knew immediately what had happened and knew that her world was about to be turned upside down. This was what was bothering George for the longest time. Karen attempted not to cry, but looking into her husband's face, it was clear that he'd known about her affair for a while now. He knew it before the baby was even born. He knew that this was not going to be his child, even though this was a child that was to be born to his very own wife. He suspected right away that the baby wasn't his, but he knew that the baby would make Karen happy so he didn't say anything. George was loving and kind to Karen throughout the whole pregnancy. He still held out hope that it was his baby. He thought for sure that Karen couldn't have had a baby with another man. She was not the type to dabble with infidelity, and even if she did, that would prove that he truly didn't know his very own wife completely. But when the baby was born, he knew he wasn't the father. There were so many things that lined up that proved that, that the child was definitely not his. But it was now Karen's time to talk. Karen revealed who the man was and eventually, she talked to her lover. He and George agreed to both be in the baby's life. They knew that each of them deserved that. Whether or not it was his son, George decided to stay with Karen because he still loved her. Everyone was shocked and a bit angry, but George kept them in check and once again said that he only wanted Karen to be happy and after some time, everyone got along fine. And the whole family was happy in the end a clear indication that no matter how your family ties worked out in the end, you will always find love in the people closest to you.